Hello, I'm Rob from Week 11 and I'll be doing a Crisis 3 Open Beta. I'll start off with the Hunter Mode. Okay, first off, the Hunter Mode is pretty much like Zombies on Halo. Um, it is standard uh, survival of about a few cell troops and then they have to defend themselves from the Invisible Hunters, which I just shot then. Once you get killed by a hunter, you become a hunter, and so slowly the hunter population grows, and soon there's no cell left, and then that's game over. Of course, if the hunters don't kill everybody and two minutes runs out, then the cell will win. But my views on this game mode are pretty good. I, I enjoyed it immensely, and as you can see from the clips, I'm just compiling together a few of the kills as the hunter at the moment. And in this clip right now, there we go, you can use the shields which are scattered around the map to hit the hunters, which is a it's a pretty good way of doing it. If they shoot you enough in the glass of that shield, though, it will break, so be careful of that. But, apart from that, the shields are a pretty effective way to kill the hunters, and you only have to last two minutes, which isn't much. The rounds could be a bit longer, but hunters can eliminate cell pretty quickly if you have two good starting off ones. We can even talk about the bow a little bit now. As you can see then, the bow is pretty long range and it's one shot kill on anywhere on the body. That could be fine-tuned a bit so it takes two shots for a, you know, a limb shot or um, a lower body. But uh, in chest upwards then it should definitely be one shot kill. However, it still works pretty well and I enjoyed using it. There you go, a few more kills with it. The hunters are permanently cloaked and they have permanent speed, so there's uh, there's no stamina reduction there. Uh, oh, and the shields also protect from blast radiuses. Uh, in these clips I'm play as, I think I play as pretty much all the classes. Um, this is a, that was a close combat one. The sniper, uh, sniper class, as you can see coming up now, has a remote detonation as their instead of their grenade, which is pretty useful. The assault, which was that one then, has the typhoon gun. But all in all. Hunter mode is pretty fun. Um, I've played it on both the maps now. Um, the clips are only of the airport map on this, but if you view my video, my other video, which I'll link to at the end, then I'll show you on the museum. Now this is Crash Site, and this is on the museum map. Crash Site, uh, as you may know, was on Crisis 2, and that involves having a pod dropped from an alien ship that hovers around the map. And on airport, which you're seeing on this one, which is uh, also on crash line, obviously, they have a hovering VTOL and um, and also pingers. Of, I'm going to talk about pinger now because it's the one being shown in the video. Um, pingers are a new int uh, introduction into Crisis 3, the one in Crisis 2. And you can uh, fire two guns. Yes, the main one is a machine gun, like plasma weapon thing, and the other one is a large pulse. Also, I believe V, when you hit the, the ping, it lowers itself and releases a ping, which kills everything in the surrounding radius. Um, they're actually not that strong. I was killed pretty quickly in this one. I think it's coming up now. This guy who's shooting me from behind kills me, I think, with a NYB grenade. No, I get that one. It's a, it's a different guy. There he is. Uh, me throws a grenade at me. There he is. Um, yeah, that, that kills me. Uh, you can also board, it's not showing the clips, but you can board the pinger from the top and rip off the guy, which is a pretty nice and, pretty nice addition. Oh, I think I'll just talk about them there, because I didn't think I activated uh, arm mode by myself, and they have an automatic armor mode on perk for you, which might be handy for uh, newer players, but I turned it off as soon as I could, because it just got in the way. Um, Oh, and Air Stomp is back in, as you'll see just there. It's uh, back in, it works pretty well, apart from I didn't get any kills. Uh, 
And apart from that, Crash Hat hasn't changed. It is standard King and Hill type thing, but with a bit of a twist. You can also rip the shields off the sides of the pods that land the shields that you saw in the previous clips. Uh, those obviously help for defense, but the glass can be shot through. I was killed by a sniper that way. Apart from that, it's uh, all pretty much the same for the modes. The kill cam for the headshots are still the same, uh, as you can see there. But what you did see there was a review. It was a review of all the cool things you just did in that match. There's another thing. Oh, and just talk about this quickly. That is an alien flamethrower there. That's another new addition to Crisis 3. You couldn't use alien weapons last time, but this time you can, which is pretty cool. Um, the video is nearly an hour, I believe. So I'm just going to wrap it up. I really like the open beta and the two maps are amazing. The graphics are stunning. I'm playing this on very high settings in, uh, uh, I think it's around 30 FPS. Um, I'm recording this one up. But, well, no, it was, it was a great game. It was really fun and I can't stop playing it because I, I highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend that game. Although it hasn't changed hugely from Crisis 2. There's some nice additions. Ah, and I just got a really nice car kill then. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'd like just to mention that there's going to be a uh, Witcher 2, no sorry, Witcher 3 uh, news coming out for every fifth, so subscribe to me there if you're interested in that game. I'll definitely be coming up with some things to talk about. Right there you can click on my Hunter gameplay video. So, do that. Thank you for watching. This has been Bob from Witcher 11.